Hi guys, Red X here. Yep, that's my new name. Get used to it. <laughs> so what we're doing today is I'm I drew a lot of um, Colossus from the game Shadow of the Colossus inspired me. So I decided to review all the 13 ones that I've made so far. I really like, I really hope you like it, and I think I went a little bit overkill in the size of a couple of them. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started, shall we? Well, First up we have Nas Horn. So Nas Horn is based off a of rhino and a... It's part rhino, part quadratus. So I have that boniness in that little thing there. I like the way you do business. Yeah, it's a nice one. Oh, let me get the other one set. Next up on my list oh, goes to Rack. He's a human old glosses, kind of like Valis. Fun fact about him my inspiration was Valis. He has the height of Argus, the length of um, Barbara and the width of Gaius. It's like all the human classes except for Malice put together. And he's amazing. Next up. This is Tigress based on the safety of Tiger. So yeah. It's pretty cool. Not the biggest tigress the large cave we live in. He lives in an underground arena if you didn't know. So. This is Petrus, the shark. Yes. So he's pretty cool too. He lives in a lake. This is my hippo glasses cover. I like him a lot too. I like them all. That's number six, Bubalus. He's a bison or buffalo, whatever you want to call him. He has the beard, the horn, the fur, everything. But yeah, this is Bubalus. I really like him too. Next up, this is Gladio. He has a sword like Argus and armor again, like Argus. Except smaller than Argus. He has pretty cool though. Actually, never mind, he's bigger. Yeah, he's pretty cool too. Next up on my list, <sighs> this is also. He's a polar bear. Yeah, this guy's pretty awesome. I really like him. It's pretty cool. Very furry, as you can see. A lot of people think he's a panda with a shark head. This is Hummer. Hummer is a lobster. A lot of people say he's a shrimp. He has shrimps don't got them claws. <laughs> he's my biggest colossus. He's 66 feet tall and about 130 feet long. He's a beast. Next up is number 10, Exidium. He has a wrecking ball. I know he's kind of naked, but he just feels it. Valis was kind of naked. Valis was kind of naked. All he was really wearing was the platforms on his back. So, yeah, this guy's pretty cool. This is the unnamed Colossus. A lot of people said he was an anteater. Only the head says anteater. Everything else is a wolf. 
Anyway, so yeah, he's my smallest colossus. He's still 66 feet long and 27 feet tall. He's huge. And that's all the ones in my original sketchbook. This is my tallest one, a Rafa. You have to be here. I like beards. Like Baba. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's call those blades. He made them himself. It's pretty cool. Again, Harry. <laughs> one last one. My. He's a. He is oddly gigantic, I can tell you that about him. Here we have Sarakata the Meerkat. This guy's pretty awesome. Check him out. Yeah, this guy is huge. I can tell you that about him. He's one of the more complicated bosses. I will make like a... Size montage about all of them eventually. This is just kind of like a little review. It's pretty awesome. So, yeah, so God, I, he's my biggest drawing, I think. Yeah, he's about two and a half hands tall. She knows that. He's not even one and a half, he's actually more like one and three quarters. And tall. My hands are about um, uh, I think six inches tall. No he's tall. Like tell us. So let's see here. Let me do the math real quick. Uh, okay, let's see here. Let's do math. One. Let's see, what's the five? 